Guys, what a beautiful day where there's no time to waste. Guys, match day. <laughs> it is match day against League One giant Plymouth Argyle. Argyle. But we need to make sure that we start this day right. And I'm so looking forward to this match again. Guys, the last few days, having those opportunities to play against pro clubs, like there's nothing better than playing football and then against pro clubs, professional players. And you can compare to yourself and you can learn from that games. And also because we are the lower rank club against those pro clubs, there's absolute no pressure. Guys, there's nothing better than playing a game with no pressure because no one expect anything from us because everyone expects that we're going to lose and it would be no surprise if we lose because they play league one third step of english football like their wage is probably 10 times more than mine like so that's why we play with no pressure pre-season friendlies that's what they are there for to improve, to learn, to try something new. And I want to try something new as well today as my breakfast is not vegan at all. As my breakfast is whole wheat meal, avocado, eggs, cheese. I can't remember when the last time I eat eggs. And some banana porridge with cornflakes, but with oat milk. Because I always said like milk in my porridge doesn't matter if I'm vegetarian if I would eat normal like meat for me the easiest thing to replace and it tastes even better is milk instead of using normal cow milk into your porridge you just use plant-based milk so no matter what I'm gonna be either when I'm gonna have children and they're gonna eat everything I don't know yet but I always will make sure that instead of normal cow milk, they will eat plant-based milk because plant-based milk just tastes better. But that's why I want to change it a bit because I want to see how I feel. I want to try something new. So I'm not going to have a vegan breakfast before the match. So I want to see how I feel. If eggs, cheese, maybe give me more power, like I will see, but I want to try it. So that's why we're going to enjoy this breakfast and look at this view. Weather, weather is amazing in this beautiful house. Look at those nice, nice plants, guys. So we start this day right. What a nice weather, actually. What a beautiful weather. Guys, what a amazing weather. This weather is lovely, seriously. And as you guys know, before a match, always we go for a walk. And in this place, man, you can have nice walks. The only thing that is just weird is those streets have no sidewalk. So it's really dangerous and I really need to take care of me vlogging here. Well, guys, there's nothing better than having a game today with this amazing weather, probably with an amazing crowd because their fans have so much passion for their club and it's their first pre-season game. So that's why we expect like maybe 1,000, 2,000 people watching but maybe just 500 or 200, I don't care because I just want to play. And some people get nervous by those kind of crowds, 1,000, 2,000 people. As some of you guys know, I've been in Israel, second division, but I didn't have a contract proper, pro contract. But we played a game with like 12 or 13,000 people. So I prefer when there are a lot of people watching. Wow, nice, 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 nice.
nice and to be honest i don't know if the game today is going to be recorded because our cameraman had a surgery so he's not able to come but i hope the other team have a cameraman but normally i shouldn't be worried about that i know you guys want to see my highlights and everything but i need to focus on my match and that's it Man, tough match, tough match, but now important the food that you eat after a match, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Seriously, they don't take me serious. They find it funny, this kind of vlogging that I do. But what can I do when they come for you, bad boys, bad boys? I don't care, mate. I don't care what other people think. It's like that. That's my life, mate. <sighs> what a match that was. Either you've seen the highlights, but if not, I'm going to get the highlights very, very soon because this match was recorded and I spoke after the match with the person who recorded it. So he's going to email me the highlights. But what a match. We just won 1-0 against a League One team, Plymouth Argyle. And I need to admit, because I've heard that they've been relegated last season. So they are actually now in League Two. But... We won. And when you play with a crowd, 2,000 people, over 2,000 people, I think, it's just unbelievable. Like, you are on the pitch and <laughs> you feel like a star. Literally. And our fans are just unbelievable. The way they support us in Anyway, if we do mistakes, if we do things that are not good, but they keep encourage us, they keep push us to the limit. And the way we play, it is just different. The man who scored that goal, I think it is just, it has to be like that because he was released by Plymouth Argyle, I think two years ago or last year. So he had to score the winner. And our manager is last season's Plymouth's assistant manager. Something like that. But well done, lads. Well done. And how was it to play against those pro defenders? First of all, what I've learned is I need to improve in holding off the ball. And also, even if they defenders, they push me or they hold me in this kind of level because it's so fast so i just need to get on with it like even if they hold me because sometimes they just hold me like and i'm just thinking ref and he doesn't blow his whistle and and he just continue to play and i'm just thinking bruv but this is pro life this is how how it is so those few nickels, those few holding, like, it doesn't count. Because me, with my abilities and with my physical strengths, I just need to be better in that. And not letting defenders holding me and... played 45 minutes 
And to be honest, my legs are very, very tired. So it was really good that I just played 45 minutes because otherwise you get silly injuries due to overload your muscles. So it was really good. And there are many, many things that we need to improve. I need to improve, but we go into the right direction. And as you guys seen in the highlights, or you will see in the highlights, is that sometimes I've done good, I've done really good protecting the ball, playing it simple, but sometimes I could do it different. But those kind of games will make me better. And I really enjoyed that. Like, this was so nice, especially those people. I mean, 2,000 people watching you, and you're in the same feel like those pros and some people are waiting for those kind of opportunities for years but i've had that in two matches in like three days so i really really enjoyed that and we keep moving forward we keep doing what we're doing because we go into the right direction and no matter what will happen and no matter what will happen like there's always a solution to be honest i still haven't signed yet and I still haven't heard really of the manager what's going to happen but imagine he might say look Brandon you were good but we're not looking for that type of player you are and then that's fine and then we move on because we need to deal with that so that's why I expect anything and I'm prepared for anything because I know there are as soon as the door closed there are other doors open for you but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button, guys. And keep in mind, when you believe, everything is possible. So Team Rundao, I'll see you tomorrow.